Uh, we're gonna go through some shooting drills today. What is the first thing we need to do? Egg beater. Egg beater. Egg beater. There you go. Egg beater. What foot is in front? Right. Your right. left, because you're a right handed, right? Yes. Okay, can everybody here show that base position with the ball? Okay, good. Relax. Now we're going to go in front of the goal and we're going to show that base position in one shot each. Okay? So guys, your left foot forward, your hips are a little turned sideways, your shoulders are a little turned, and the ball is up. Next person up. Next person up. Close the base. So guys, when we shoot, there are a couple things that we have to focus on that can all add up to the power of our shot. All right, our base, we just talked about. Egg beater, our hand, hips turned a little, shoulders turned a little. Now we're gonna add on to that. So in your shot, that's your base. If we go from the base all the way to the end of our shot, which is our hand, what is next in line? What? Your hips. So you have your hips turned a little. To shoot, you're gonna look at my hips right now. You're here, and then you're gonna turn those forward. So look at my hips as I do this. Turn my hips forward in my shot. What is next in your shot? You have your hips, and you have your? Your shoulders. So you go from here, your hips straight, shoulders straight. That needs to be one good motion, that turn, that rotation, okay? So, boom. So you have your base, which is your egg beater. The second thing is your hips and then your shoulders. Who of you guys actually throws and thinks about doing that first every time you throw? Sometimes, right? So where does the power in your throw come from right now? My abs. Your arm and your abs. So if you don't throw, if you throw and you miss the first part of your throw, all the power comes in here, right? So what is going to get injured? Your shoulder or your elbow because you're throwing from all the power from there. So that's really important that you start with the hips and then the shoulders come after, okay? That, that, that makes sure that your arm gets less injured or injured less time. So now, Another thing in your arm, where does your elbow need to be? Out of the water. Does it need to be here out of the water? How high? Higher than your ear or above your head. Right? So you're set up, your hips turned, your shoulders turned, your elbow up. Okay? Hips are turned, shoulders turned, elbow up. Shoot. Luke, I'm going to have you set up. Yeah? Shoot. Good. Joseph, set up. Elbow higher. Shoot. There you go, Joseph. Killer, set up. Shoot. Set up. Shoot. Good.
talked about how we set up our base, right? We talked about how high our elbow should be, right? Yep. Now let's talk about the finish of our shot. There's two things we need to talk about. One, where does your arm point after you finish? Uh, that right where you're shooting, like, it be Straight at your target, right? Yeah. But if you shoot and it goes here, <laughs> yeah. Well, not only is it gonna go in an opposite direction, you're also not putting all your power in that straight line to the goal where you want it. So after your, your hip turn, your shoulder turns, your arm needs to go forward, all right? Let's get really focused on doing it the, the right way. Second, it's about gripping the ball. When you grip the ball, can you throw your wrist forward as hard as you can? No. Yeah, let's, let's do this, have a relaxed wrist. Start with your hand here, throw it forward as hard as you can. Now, make a fist and throw it forward as hard as you can. Which one is harder? Really? Which one has more speed? Look at my hand, okay? Look at my hand, it's relaxed. Look at my wrist. Which one has more speed? The loose hand has more speed, right? So if we add that speed onto the speed of your, your arm going forward, onto the speed of your shoulders turning, onto the speed of your hips turning, is that the strongest shot we can have? Yes. But if you lose the speed of your hand because you're gripping the ball, is that the strongest shot you can have? No, because you're missing parts of your shot that you can add up. So on this next one, we're really going to focus. Hips, shoulders, elbow, follow through straight and with a relaxed. Then we make sure we do the hips, the shoulders, elbow up, arm forward, and a relaxed grip. Okay, so we can add up all those speeds to one shot. So my base. Alright, nice job. 